20 grand. Yeah, so check that out. So Nick Anderson, he's one of the co-founder uh, co-organizers of Ethereum. He has built a freaking Ethereum ERC20 token and he's going to issue it live right now. <laughs> So I like I like to talk about it because he was uh, it was like a rapid fire of things you can do with tokens. Um, so why not have a token for a uh, city um, meetup, or in fact this token be used for any meetup? Uh, and I was sort of inspired by the last week or last month when we were talking about uh, ERC twenty tokens and what you can do with it. So I was like, well, let's create one. Um, so effectively, what I'm going to do is. Um, Oh, hang on, I'll hold that. So the, the, the motivation behind it is to get people using tokens, basically. So if I give everyone some free tokens, uh, and then you can transfer it around, and then we can come up with any, any way you can do it. So this is uh, open source. So SID, uh, SID Ethereum is the um, uh, on, on GitHub. Um, the way it works is you put your address, your um, Ethereum address in the introduction section, I've got a bit of a blurb there, but if I go to varieties, she's just back to her address in there. I have a program which basically goes through, grab those addresses, and anyone, anyone who's got their address in there, I'll issue 1,000 tokens. Um, it's basically, I won't go into the details, but it's an ERC20 contract um, where I'll issue it. It's all, it's all on the um, repository there. Uh, for those who don't know what this is, um, just I'll send some notes out. But here's the ABI file you'll need if you're going to go and create the um, put that in your wallet. I've already deployed the contract last night, um, just because deploying can take a while. Um, so I have a get node here, which hopefully is keeping up to date. What can go wrong with a lot of Token issuance. <laughs> so uh, this is when I deployed the contract before. Um, I do have a console version of this, but this is. Let's see what happens. So basically, what this is doing, hopefully, we've got the internet. Uh, and yep, okay. So this is going looking into the get node I've got running on here and looking for any historical events. Any, any tokens which have been issued, because um, you only issue the tokens once. Um, so it basically matches up on, um, so your meetup ID and your Ethereum ID, so it basically uses those two to work out um, whether you've been issued them before. So that's turning it away. Um, so once it does that, it'll go into the meetup, get all the addresses, and then it should go through and issue the tokens. Now, if you haven't, so there's about 15 people who have already put their address in. Um, you can do it afterwards, I'll run it again, and I'll just pick up the people who haven't, uh, and you'll get the tokens. Uh, and I can also run it again for all the people who have been at this event, and I'll give you 2,000 tokens. <laughs> but the idea is, um, it's to, once, once you get the tokens, see if you can view it, so your homework, I guess, if you haven't used Ethereum before, is to get yourself a lot, get yourself an address, Put the address in the meetup. Um, this thing will run, I'll, I'll probably run it once a day or something, uh, or maybe I'll try and deploy it somewhere. Um, so you can see your token, and then for, for extra points, as you can try and transfer your token. Um, transfer the tokens to me, and I'll transfer them back. That's a little bit more complicated because transferring your tokens, you need, need, need some air. Uh, and obviously, this thing's running and it's taking a lot longer than I thought. Uh, oh, there we go. So. Now it's going to pull all the addresses out of the, um, and now it's actually issuing the tokens. So it's issuing the first token to whoever that person is. Whoever has the ID, that ID. Let's go and find out who that is. Hey. Hey. That wasn't good at all. <laughs> uh, anyway, so that's going to act like it's it confirmed. So it depends on how the network's going, how much um, how much gas I put in there. I think I'll put six uh, GUI. Um, so I'll let that run. Um, 
and yeah, that's, 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 uh, that's a, the, the idea is that you can then use these tokens. Uh, maybe we use these tokens for voting on who should be speaking or who should be events. Um, you could use it for discounts to events. We get people coming to us all, all the time saying, um, "I want to a discount to your members." So um, if, you, if you've got one of these tokens, um, you can get a discount. These ones here are transferable. So the idea is to get people interactive. Um, I probably will do a non-transferable one. So you, you can't transfer it to someone else. You, you have to you know, get the credits. Yeah, that's it. Awesome. Thank you, Nick. Um, so the, the other thing we've been doing lately as well is uh, kind of opening up the meetup group to like independent events. Uh, see how like Ted does 10x, so we've been doing ethex. So if you see ethex on the event title, it's kind of like an independent event. Um, so anyone who wants to run their own event, not, not a, uh, another Cytherium clone with speakers that they're competing against us. Um, <laughs> so there was actually an event this week that was like, can we do an ethex and we have speakers? And like, um, but if you, if you want to run like a, a workshop or a tutorial or some like hackathon, uh, and you may actually run a hackathon for this, like teach you how all this code worked, um, yeah, just, just contact one of the organizers. You can charge money for it. We've had, we've had events before at indexes where they charge a fee, that's fine. You, you just run it all, we just put the events up, as long as it supports the benefits the community. Um, so now we're just going to do quickly an open mic. Uh, for the last half hour or so. So uh, can everyone who wants to just do a quick shout out, and, and I'm gonna literally time you like you get a minute each, so you're gonna do super fast. Um, can we get your lineup down here? Um, so anyone who wants to talk about anything, pitch their projects, ask their developers, um, I don't know, talk about what they had for breakfast, anything. Sleep, yeah. Hi everyone, my name is William Saunders, I'm business development manager. Uh, from Blockchain Global down in Melbourne. I just want to invite everyone to our Block Party 1, Australia's first cryptocurrency super week. It's going to be hosted in Melbourne at Blockchain Centre down at South Bank. Um, so you're all invited if you want to get plane rides down, that'd be fantastic. Um, we're going to start off Monday night with the Bitcoin Blockchain 101. It's hosted by our Blockchain Centre CEO, Martin Davidson. On the Tuesday night, we're going to be doing Ethereum 101. And also we'll be doing um, something called the Alt Alter, which is an altcoin review. So we'll be doing Monero and Stratus. We also have the guys from Indoors ICO flying down from Singapore to give a bit of a pitch. We're trying to develop a bit of a shark tank-like environment down in Melbourne where um, if you've got um, a fantastic product to sell, um, shark, shark Tank will review you nicely and if it's not so good. Um, you'll be out on your ear, a um, bit of a public thing, I guess. Uh, Wednesday night, we'll be doing, uh, we doing uh, Crypto Traders, which involves a lot of trade analysis. Um, we've got a fantastic guy called Thomas that's going to be doing all the charts and the coinage, et cetera, showing people um, what things to look for, various <coughs> charts and lines and clouds and all that sort of technical brilliance. Um, we have our weekly talk and trade afterwards. Thursday we have blockchain and business breakfast on the Thursday morning and Friday we have the world's first, I think, um, crypto trading tournament that runs for 24 hours. It's a bit of a geek, land, party-like, hackathon-like trading tournament uh, where winners um, we have Trezor and a ledger for staying up all night and making the most percentage gain of the crypto portfolio. It's a bit edgy, it's a bit risky, um, we're going to go with it anyway. Um, so we welcome you all aboard and 12 seconds, I think that'll be pretty well. Thank you very much. <laughs> uh, I changed it to two minutes. Hi everyone, um, I'm Jason. Um, I'm working with some friends and collaborators overseas, here and overseas um, on a new sustainable investment uh, fund for sustainable and ecological projects with global impact. Um, we're very much in startup mode. Um, our first project is going to be around. Um, um, it's going to be around uh, parts of uh, the Amazon and actually um, uh, being able to purchase those through the uh, and secure those through the Ethereum blockchain. Uh, we're looking at having a token sale for that. 
and we're also again using blockchain applications to secure the project um, and to uh, give transparency to that project. So I'm giving a quick shout out. Uh, we're looking for particularly for social media marketing um, and also for blockchain uh, technical support. So get in touch with me or find me at jason at regen.eco. Hey everyone, I'm James. Um, is this still filming? Is that still filming? Yes. Yeah, good. So I can like lock this in. Um, so I'm going to pitch an idea that I want anyone that wants to help me build it. It's called Pirate Coin. And uh, we start targeting Satoshi's bit, Bitcoin wallet. Um, but so, so my job is actually writing algorithms that are faster and better than anybody else's in medical research. And um, my boss and I came up with this idea of like in cryptocurrency if we could start targeting wallets and there's already people that do recovery wallets, but what if we distribute that across a larger field of computing power? I already have more computing power than probably anyone else in this room um, accessible to me at all times. So, and I can spin that up whenever I want for whatever I want. So, you know, it'd be nice if someone wants to build this as a, something that people can like, uh, you know, use and we can target various wallets, we can tell them that we're targeting them and if they want to move their money, that's up to them. Um, but anything that's uh, found, the bounty is split uh, accordingly, um, just like any other Bitcoin protocol. And uh, yeah, if anyone wants to help me, um, and be like, ah, you know, like that. Uh, Hi, I'm Bucky Puba, and um, I work with several di um, different organizations to help them on their tech and blockchain security and stuff. Uh, one of them is the insurance group in Lithuania, AI Gang, the Open ANX. I've got the decentralized exchange that I'm running, which I'm hoping the ASIC and Austrian will shut down. Um, but um, and I want to announce today that um, we're starting the Okipuga decentralized virtual Ethereum um, ooh, incubator <laughs> at, at the Tyro Fintech Hub. And so I've been running workshops for developers, and we've got entrepreneurs coming in and also meeting up with developers to try to work out what they can do, what is possible, um, you know, to try to realize the use cases. Um, so if anyone has any um, interest in developing, if you have interest in finding out what can be done with the Ethereum blockchain, come along, just Google Bobby Puba. Uh, hello, my name is uh, Tim McNamara. Uh, I'm the founder of a project called the Hub 34 Project. We're building a distributed uh, interbot network uh, built on the Ethereum blockchain. Uh, we're in the early stages of our uh, launching a token sale. Uh, effectively, what we're looking to do is connect the disparate um, chatbots, AI engines, IoT devices um, across the planet, monetizing, fractionalizing information that passes through our network and monetize for the benefit of the developers rather than the, the Googles and so forth of the world. Um, if anyone's interested in chatting more about it, I'll be around for a little bit. Thank you. I'm uh, Derek. Uh, uh, I'm an Aussie, but I've been in London for the last 20 years uh, building a European energy business. But um, I finally, finally found an opportunity to escape and come back to the city uh, with an uh, idea. And uh, pirate, I thought, I thought tonight was about noble causes. It's <laughs> <laughs> uh, noble for me. If, if, if you're invested in pirate, you want to see, see the conscience, you can invest in. Uh, Zero Carbon Project. Um, we're uh, very concerned about climate change. Uh, we think the planet's in a bad way. Uh, we think that there are real risks around uh, serious consequences from climate change. Uh, there's a massive inflection point coming up if, uh, if the Arctic melts and the permafrost releases. Uh, carbon emissions are going to about 86 times what is currently in the atmosphere. Um, uh, the climate uh, change uh, group in Paris, they said two degrees 
temperature increase. We're going past that now. It's 40 degrees. We're concerned about. Um, now we, we reckon with the way the technology clean tech is improving, cost forming, we, we reckon we can uh, convert from carbon-based electricity to green electricity within 50 years. Uh, and we, we, we think it's important to try to speed up the transition. Uh, what we're doing is recruiting uh, what we call custodians to our project. They're effectively consumers who will choose our green electricity uh, supply contracts, which green electricity supplies around the world can work across our platform. Uh, electricity consumers, green electricity consumers will mint uh, energy products uh, for consuming green electricity. Uh, the energy coins will have rights to future royalties from the green electricity suppliers. And the energy coins will be worth at least what consumers or custodians have to pay for the premium for green electricity. So, so we, we think that blockchain uh, can be used through the issuing of energy coins that are royalty coins uh, to, to contribute to consumers to choose green electricity, help save the planet.
have a lot of ideas. Um, if anyone has any ideas and wants to talk about this further, please come up and talk to me. Thank you. Hello, I'm James Ashford from Veritica. Our goal is to reduce online video piracy by 80% over the next 10 years. We're going to do this. <laughs> I see some head shaking. We're going to do this, we are, by using blockchain and cryptocurrencies to, to pay for distributed computing. Check us out on veritictum.io. Um, we're in the middle of our ICO, ICO right now, our token sale, and we'd love to get your feedback or involvement. Thanks. Hi, um, I'm one of Hockey's um, students in AC. Um, I work with a bunch of guys called um, CrossFit Projects. Um, and we are looking to help out people in uh, PNG. They have um, title rights issues where um, large oil mining companies they tend to come around and uh, infiltrate their rights uh, as to land. And um, we're trying to help them with all this information of their uh, title rights on the blockchain and hopefully uh, look for a way to um, you know ensure that they, their rights are not. Uh, violate it in a particular way. Um, if you are great at databases um, and in that area where you can think that you can integrate it into the data but into the blockchain, um, uh, seek us out. Um, we currently work with uh, New South Wales University and we also um, are looking for seed funding from uh, oil companies who are interested in this area, so yeah, get us out and uh, come help us out. Uh, you'll be a hero. Hi, <laughs> <laughs> uh, same round. <laughs> Pick up the device on the pirate coins. Um, so, Johnny Peters is not here. Um, he's um, building a VR slash blockchain system. There's some interest in VR here. Um, so Johnny Peters is building that from his Paddington studio. So he's he's come to the workshops and you know, working things out, um, the wallets and how it interacts with the VR on the blockchain. And there's a coin and we make it transferable so you can buy things by advertising, earn coins in your VR world. Um, so he's he's not here. I thought I might um, announce that yeah, the crowd sale will be in probably two months time and. I think I'm the chief Puba of the project. Um, then there's Derek Myers as well, and so we're looking to work on helping with this project and the workshop. Um, yeah. That's Thank you. Any, any others? Anyone like to uh, Well, my program did finish. Uh, so we should uh, 11 people, 1,000 tokens each. Um, so you can now see that well, this, is, this is a parity wallet, so I'll just sort of show you what it looks like. Um, so that's the attributes of it. So we can see 11,000 supply, that was zero to start with. And here's all the transactions. Uh, and you can also see this on the Ether skin as well. So, yeah, live issues. That's so awesome. So, uh, what else can we do with it afterwards? Oh uh, yeah, uh, voting, um, I don't know, we come up with ideas, what, what do you want to do with this token? I'll pop you some ideas. You can train them on print.derivatives.market. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know how long until someone puts it on there and trades them. <laughs> and how much are they going to be worth? How much do you want to make it worth? Here we go, there's going to be some demand now. <laughs> okay, I think that's it. So, uh, great talk, yeah, thank you so much for coming to see the theory. How are you going to the beer out there? Uh, they, were, they took it away from us. <laughs> Ideally, I'd love to just keep the beer away, so I'd have to cut it back. I don't know where anyway. Dark alley. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, if there's beer out there, take it with you if you can find it, but I don't think that's how it works. I think we're going to put that in. And what time are we going to be out of here? What now? Or? <laughs>
Yeah, so the, the gates close at 9 30, so you gotta get out. <laughs> <laughs> um, thanks so much for coming, guys. Um, girls, and If you want to continue the discussion, the discussion, the Telegram group is probably the best place. Chat.cd.com. Otherwise, you can catch you all next time.